hi guys welcome back to my channel so this week i want to talk to you about side hustles that you can do that can make you know allow you to bring in um give and take a hundred thousand dollars a month so these side hustles they are not like get rich quick schemes you know with proper skill and you know you're gonna make mistakes and correct them and learning and all of that it'll take it will take some time but you will get there all right so my first side hustle that i want to talk about you know just to get in the meantime of the matter is if you like kids you can do babysitting trust me especially if you live in kingston um daycare costs a ton so you have daycares that that's cost like ten thousand dollars a week that can run you up to forty thousand dollars a month and if you have kids like me if you can find someone that's reliable and will charge a little bit less you will go to that cheaper option so now the babysitting service especially if you're offering night services because people want to go out, couples want to go and watch a movie mommy and daddy needs a break after work especially our if mommy and daddy works at like a call center and them have a late shift then they're gonna need somebody to watch the kids after hours and if you can provide that service that will be good you can charge anywhere from fifteen hundred dollars an hour thousand dollars an hour i had a girl quote me i think it was two five an hour for nice service and she only went up to 10 p.m so imagine that yes you can offer babysitting services and guys if you're doing this please be careful even though the family might be vetting you you should be vetting the family as well you need to make sure that anywhere that you're going to babysit is a safe you're in a safe environment um and you have a way to get home especially if you don't drive if you drive you know you can park your car and go and do what you have to do but if you don't drive you have to know how you're getting back home um that's an easy easy way to make money babysitting or if you don't want to do night services and you're offering the regular day babysitting yeah um my babysitter she charges me six hundred dollars a day but she's not my child is not the only child she looks after she looks after so if she has like 10 kids <laughs> you know watching for the day 600 times 10 that's six thousand dollars for the day that's what the average Jamaican is earning daily either ways. Um, another thing you can do on the side other than babysitting is basically tutoring or teaching. You can tutor online, meaning that you never, never, never meet the person that you're tutoring. Or you can tutor face to face because I understand everybody learns differently and you want to make sure that you're at least meeting that you're meeting the needs of your customer so if a person can't really learn with the virtual in a virtual environment then you can offer to meet them somewhere and you teach them there and that rate can be different so you can actually like you can offer different rates so for online tutoring um especially if you know you're really good at the subject you can offer like a cheaper rate maybe seven hundred dollars an hour and then if it's face-to-face -to -face tutoring, then it can be like $1,200 an hour. Prices will opt for the $700 because it's cheaper. And if you have, especially if you have more than one client that you're tutoring, or students in this case, um, you know, 700 times 10. For example, you have 10 students, that's $7,000 an hour. If you're tutoring 10 students in a day and everybody, so everybody do one hour, seven thousand dollars that one day imagine that doing that over time throughout the month multiple times yes you have to market yourself i'm not saying that you're going to get up today and get 10 people for tutor you might start off with one you might start off with two depending on the subject um i know people that are good at math um they will find persons easier than for example people like who want to get tutoring maybe a, a class like chemistry you have less people with chemistry You'll have more people with math than English. So yeah, tutoring, good way to make money. I'm so hard. Like my product in my hair is like running down my face. Um, this is another way you can make money in Jamaica. And I don't want anybody to come at me because I live in Kingston and I see where it works. Laundry services. 
Kingston, is, <laughs> especially Kingston, um, you know, when JPS, uh, not J Jesus, you know, when National when Water Commission already, they turn off the pipes. They might do it for days, they might do it for hours, and especially if you're a busy person and you don't have a washing machine, or if you have a washing machine but you don't have water, um, if you know somebody that's offering laundry services, then you can take your clothes to that person or have that person pick up and they charge you per load. So, for example, $300, $400 a load and they wash your clothes, you pick it up back. If they have a dryer, they dry your clothes for an additional $300 and that's it. So, if you're providing the service, you can literally use a washing machine that you have at home. If you have a dryer... You can offer drying services as well and people will pay to wash and dry your clothes. I know people who live on the complex that I live that are paying people to wash and dry their clothes. They pay like, I think the guy pay like $400 and to wash and another for it to dry and then he has to pay money. I think he has to pay for the people to pick up the clothes and drop it all back. So if you have a car... And you have your washing machine and your dryer air yard. The only thing you need to do is go on. You don't have to do anything fancy. Go on Microsoft Word. Or go on Facebook. Go on Instagram. Put up an ad to say you're offering this service. You're offering pickup and drop out service. And you charge based on that. People are lazy. Let me tell you this. People are lazy. So if you're offering the laundry service, you can make money on the side. This is if you're at home or if you have a family member who is willing to wash the clothes them while you're there, while you're not there, while you're at work and dry them and then you and, I, you and the person, not her, you and the person split the profit. Easy, 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 something that. Why you don't want to do that? Another side hustle that you can have, and I think I'm going to give six side hustles. I think, yeah, about six. Another side hustle that you can have um, is basically buying and selling products or making and selling products. If you know how to make candles, if you know how to make scrubs, body butter, stuff like that, you can make them, sell them. And you don't have to make them like have a bunch of products that you made and you know, sell. You can do like a done to other thing. So you make some for marketing purposes so that people can know what you're selling and then when not, you get an order you make based on the, the the order that comes in so you're already the person already paid for the product before you even spend your money if you're buying and selling you can do the job drop shipping method where you make the person pay for the item then you purchase the item and then you send the item to the person if the, if they are willing to wait if they are not willing to wait you can buy like small quantities of the items that you're going to sell so that you're not spending too much money on items that are not sold as it and then when the order is coming you ship them out and based on how fast these products go that's how you order um easy way i don't want nobody come to me about buying and selling with custom because there is little there are little ways you can avoid customs you can literally split up your order and you buy like some under fifty dollar here, some under fifty dollar there, some under fifty dollar there, and you ship them. Custom cannot charge you like that. Um, I mentioned babysitting. Another thing you can do for side hustles, and guys, yes, I wrote this down because I might not remember it in my head. I'll have so much things doing. Um, right you now that I have to write literally if I'm doing something or I have something to do after jack it down as the ideas come so you can do like manage people's social media especially small businesses like I have a small business and I plan on outsourcing somebody to manage my social media account that way I'm not neglecting my business while I'm working my nine to five while I'm taking care of my son while I'm doing YouTube while I'm going to school, yes, I'm doing so many things that um, I know everything. I can't like, give everything my attention at once. So I have to go and like outsource somebody um, for like a small fee and let them manage my social media accounts. So when the, whenever they do like they post the content and everything and when the order comes in, I just ship the product out. That's all I want to do. So you have people like me. We we are really busy. Super, super busy. 
and we need somebody to manage our accounts for us. Um, you can reach out to people. You mean, close mouth, don't get fed. You see, a small business where I struggle, them post like once or twice a week and stuff like that. They post like once this week and they don't post back for another two weeks. But mo most likely the person busy. Reach out to them and be like, hey, you know, I see um, where you're highly posting over your business. Are you still active? If the person said, yes, I'm still an active business, they can say, hey, you know, I'm offering this service for X and Y and Z. I can offer you... I can manage a social media account for like a thousand dollars an hour. Do not quote my prices, guys. I don't know how much people are charging per hour. I'm just giving you a like a figure as an example. Like I'll manage manage a social media account for like a thousand dollars an hour. All right, here's what you do: you take two hours a day. They pay for like two hours. You just make your content and you post it, and you go. And if they're paying you this $2,000 every day for five days, at least five days, right? Two, five, ten, ten thousand dollars $10,000, just like that. And it adds up. The more accounts you're managing, the, be um, the better you are going to get. And then the more money you're making. And even with that, the more you improve on your skill, the higher you can charge. Because if you're going to manage somebody's social media account by just creating content and posting, but you really don't have any um, marketing experience, you can't go to the people and say, oh, mega charge five grand an hour. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Because if they're going to do that, they can actually go to like a professional firm and give them this, <laughs> their social media account and be like, yo, manage this for me, I'll pay you. The money monthly so you want to do that um i don't if you didn't go fast the last thing on my list and i think it's my favorite because it was the, this idea was given to me about a year ago by my friend latoya um she always have business ideas by the way like she's like amazing airbnb experience not airbnb as in the host like you're hosting somebody but airbnb has something that they call airbnb experience it's when you you're basically like a tour guide um for foreigners our local people so now you will come and you set up the account on Airbnb, you go on airbnb.com, you click host, you click um, host and experience. And then you talk about the experience you want to host. So if you're somebody that frequently travels to like Blue Mountain, um, you can literally have like a Blue Mountain tour. You can offer that tour on the Airbnb. Or if you're somebody that frequently like, you know, about, you know, Kingston, so you want to like take them to the museums and stuff like that you can host that experience if let me tell you something i saw on airbnb exit i saw somebody that's giving um a coronation market tour meaning says somebody and they were charging like seven thousand five per person so that's somebody say that person got two people that's fifteen thousand dollars and all them I do, I keep walk up and down in a coronation market and I give the white people in some tours. I even saw somebody that's cooking, like they have virtual sessions. So you don't have to physically meet the people for the experience. You can't, due to COVID, you have online experiences, which you can sign up for. You can charge somebody $4,000 to have like a cooking class. Come cook a can selfish with me. You go, you buy your ingredients, you tell them what to get, and you and the people, you set up your camera, set up the Zoom link, and you're like, all right, guys, you can't see me, they can't see you, they can't hear you, and you show them how to make the ackee and selfish, or you show them how to make dumpling, stuff like that. There are so many ways you can make money online where you don't literally have to be, you don't even have to spend a bag of money, because... The Airbnb experience is completely free. Um, it's just you literally just selling yourself and selling your skills. So I would say capitalize on all of the skills that you have. Um, I won't tell you to take your hobbies and turn them like into profits. You can, but I don't want you to kill the love for what you're doing. Because, you know, when these side hustles, they can, they get overbearing. You don't love what you do anymore. So... 
you can do it like occasionally or if you want to like leave your job full time you can focus on your side hustle and just build yourself you don't have to do a lot um so that's it for this video it's just a quick video because i'm super busy i have to go back to a meeting and i just wanted to jump in because i committed myself to doing two videos per week thank you so much for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and share follow me on instagram at diary of a country girl six i'll put the link in the bio i follow me on tiktok i post crazy videos over there <laughs> And you can follow my business page at Aura Ahura that at Ahura Boutique. I don't know why I could have pronounced it a while ago. Um, I'll also put the link in the bio. See you guys. <laughs>